Hello, Trinity family. I wanted to spend a few moments uh, talking to you about some decisions that our leadership has made recently. Our decision to stop gathering and distance is both beautiful and brutal, a hard and holy choice. It takes faith to remember the church is not a building, to learn many, many, many new things, and to sacrifice our love of gathering for the well-being of each other and our neighbors and all those on the front lines of COVID-19. We do not choose to distance out of fear. We choose to distance as a tangible expression of our faith in Jesus Christ, as a tangible expression of the love of Christ at work in us and through us. I miss being able to gather. I miss the hugs and the smiles and the singing. I miss the unplanned conversations. I miss the aha moments from discussing things face to face. I miss the hand on a shoulder for prayer or blessing. Our decision to distance came with costs. Uh, many of us are struggling. We're struggling with the technology. We're just struggling with the loneliness. We're struggling with the fear. We're struggling with the loss and the anger and the uncertainty. Some of us are struggling financially and some of us are struggling physically. Here's the good news. There's always good news. We can still connect to God and each other. We can connect on Facebook and Zoom. We can connect by phone calls and mail. We can connect during distanced visits outdoors. The outdoor spaces on our campus remain available. You and your group are welcome to use them. Many of you are asking, when will we gather in our buildings again? Last Tuesday, our leadership council met to finalize a phased in plan to reopen the indoor spaces on our campus. The phases of the plan are based on the downward trajectory of positive tests and confirmed cases of COVID-19 in Sarasota County. I wanted to uh, take a couple of moments to show you uh, what we are using, uh, the statistics that we're using. And so what you see before you is the uh, Florida COVID-19 data and surveillance dashboard. Uh, this is a public dashboard. You will have the link to this so that you can look at it yourself. It gives us statistics for the entire state of Florida and for our particular county, actually all the counties. You can compare counties if you want. When you come to the dashboard, you see this overall state of Florida statistics um, page. If you go to the bottom section, there are some little tabs. And if you click on health metrics, you will see the health metrics for our state. Um, we are looking at documented new cases and we are looking at percent positive for laboratory testing. Those are the two statistics that we're using, but we're not using the state statistics, we're using our county statistics. So you go up here to the little drop down menu and here's Sarasota. You click on Sarasota and it should adjust. I think it just did. 
So here are the statistics for the documented new cases. You can see the trajectory over the past few weeks has been going up. Uh, this is percent positive for laboratory, laboratory testing. So it doesn't matter how many people are being tested. We're only looking at the percent of positive tests. So we can, we're comparing apples to apples. You can also see that this trajectory has been going up over the last few weeks. These figures, where the dots are, are weekly figures. That's what we're going to be looking at. The daily figures change. You know, they're up and down and up and down. But the weekly figures can show us a trajectory. And so this is what we're going to be relying on uh, as the leadership of the church makes decisions about opening the indoor spaces on our campus. Attached, you will find uh, graphs. Attached, you will find the phased-in plan itself. Um, each of these numbers, each of these numbers represent people. They represent people who have loved ones. They represent uh, people with responsibilities and plans and hopes. They represent people that God loves. And so it's important to remember that as well as we look at the statistics. If you have any questions about the uh, new plans or about the numbers or about anything else, if you have comments, uh, feedback, on the plans, uh, please call or email the church office. Uh, the church leadership is listening. We are ready to respond. And I will tell you, I am so incredibly proud of the work that the leadership has been doing over the past few weeks. Uh, these are faithful, faithful folk. And the conversations have been thoughtful they have been wise, and they have been gracious. And so remember, dear ones, God is faithful. God is at work. God is making all things new. We are in a season of new wine in new wineskins, new gatherings, new people, new places, and new connections. God is at work in a fresh start. And uh, aren't we privileged to be a part of it? Uh, God bless you. Uh, I look forward to uh, seeing you online, and I hope I get to see you soon.